So, babies, thank you for joining us today on Packer Packer on Sifted.net. And for our Patreon patrons, we really appreciate the patronage. For the rest of you, please try to remember to link your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch Prime account. We get paid. costs you nothing. Our question today from Patreon from Jerry Gonzalez. Hola, Pac. Capcom just announced that 80% of its sales are digital and the number continues to rise. What does this mean for the future of physical media? I, for one, love physical media. There's a big difference between owning a physical game and basically renting code from a service that could ultimately go under. How much longer do you think I'll be able to buy physical games? Will we eventually get to a point where the only physical versions you can buy are the ultra expensive collector's edition? When you so, when you put out a new game, so you put out you know Call of Duty, the first three weeks are probably twenty five to fifty percent of lifetime sales, and the first three weeks are probably seventy five percent physical, and then the next six months are probably 50% physical and 50% digital. And that gets you to about, you know, 75% of lifetime sales. And the last six months are probably 80, 20 digital. And that gets you to hundred percent. So digital over time is it increases as a percentage because the game's not new. And so it's sort of like, if you don't need something right now, you don't have to go to the store, you can go on Amazon and buy it. But if you're out of milk, you're not buying it at Amazon, you're going to the store. So the physical, if you want the game right now, you're gonna go get it. And I know you can digitally download it and play it right now, but you also know you can go to the store and pop it in the disc drive to play it right now. The guys who buy physical have a bunch of reasons why they like physical. They either wanna trade it in and they think it's worth 20 bucks as a trade in. So every disc looks like a $20 bill and they want it. Or they like to collect games and put them on the shelf. I know I have Red Dead Redemption up there somewhere. Anyway, I know where it is. Um, but they like games on their shelf. Or they like taking games to their friend's house. Or they like giving games away when they're done. Or they don't trust the internet. Like that was kind of in your question, by the way. That, you know, I don't want to uh, worry about these guys going out of business, you know, someday if they ultimately go under. So. There's enough reasons why you buy physical. And then if you're a gift giver, you can technically buy a code or a gift card, sure. And you probably can go onto Xbox Live and send somebody an Xbox game code, Merry Christmas from grandma, if grandma knew how to do that. But those people buy physical. So physical games are gonna be here as long as the console manufacturers aren't so stupid as to require people to digitally download. And so that's, I, I answered this question on another episode, but that's why Sony's all digital edition at launch is so stupid. They're rubbing the, uh, the retailers you know, noses in the ground and saying, screw you, we don't care if anybody ever buys a physical game again. Retailers care because they get to sell the disc. And GameStop in particular cares because they do a big trade in business and GameStop customers care because they like trading in games and getting something for them. So it's really dumb for a, a console manufacturer to tell retailers, sorry, we're not carrying physical discs anymore. And who cares if Capcom's 80%? The, the actual units, game units sold are about 50% digital, 50% physical. It's going up, but that's more from the long tail that you know the games like Grand Theft Auto keep selling 10 million units a year, and there's no reason to buy a physical copy of it. You know, the publishers make plenty of money digitally with in-game purchases by, by creating multiplayer games, giving you lots of opportunity to buy skins. And so they just don't really need to eliminate physical discs. And the profit they make on the physical disc up front is literally six bucks incremental on a digital versus physical. So why are they screwing around? If you get 20 and they're so desperate for your six bucks, what's wrong with them? I mean, you get 20 and they get six. So stupid. I mean, they're really, really angering consumers and I think that's dumb. So the answer is uh, physical is gonna go away when retail goes away. Um, you know, it's funny, I, back in the day, I covered Blockbuster. Uh, there's a podcast coming out, which will be out probably by the time this show's on, Recode with Peter Kafka, K-F-K-A. 
Um, and Recode, he's doing a podcast with me on Netflix. And I spoke to him yesterday and he was like, when did you first have a sell on Netflix? And I said, 2004, um, because they were a DVD by mail business. And back in 04, people said DVDs are going away, right? Well, question, you ever heard of Redbox? Because it's 2020 and they're still all over the place. I was literally in the grocery store this weekend and Redbox, there are people at Redbox renting DVDs. So we still have DVDs. They were, we're 16 years later from when I predicted Netflix would go out of business on their DVD business. And they, it is down to like 2 million subscribers, but still, they still exist. You can still buy a DVD. Why? Because some consumers like them and they want them. So as long as consumers want them and as long as it's economical to make them, they will. Um, when this edition, when this uh, uh, generation of consoles was announced, and this was, was literally in, in 19, um, people were surprised that both Sony and Microsoft said that their consoles would have an optical drive. So uh, as long as there are consoles out there with an optical drive, discs will be made. No publisher is going to tell you you can't get one. Uh, check out music CDs. I remember in 1997 when Napster was going to put CDs out of out of commission and no one's ever going to make a CD again. Guess what? You can still buy music CDs. I mean, yeah, we all have Spotify. They don't sell very many of them, probably 20, 30 million a year, but they exist. You can still buy um, music on CDs. So as long as they exist, uh, you know, as long as somebody wants them, they'll exist. I'd say you got another 10 years. The end of the decade, you'll probably start to see physical games go away. Thank you for joining us on backgroundsifted.net. Appreciate you, your patronage as a Patreon patron. Appreciate your linking your Amazon Prime and Twitch Prime account. And appreciate your subscribing on YouTube and or. Thanks for following me on Twitter at Michael Packard. See you next time.